What is it about Tesla's autopilot that makes it so much better than everything else on the market? The autopilot system that comes standard in all Teslas falls somewhere in between an adaptive cruise control system and Tesla's long-awaited full self-driving. Now, the first thing to note is the difference in hardware. This Model 3, for example, has eight cameras built in around the outside of the car. So on these basis points alone, the Teslas are a lot more equipped in the hardware department for this kind of thing than any other car on the road. And as we know, Tesla is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to that combination of hardware and software. So they have essentially designed these cars to be future-proof. At the touch of a button, I can upgrade this car's autopilot system to Tesla's full self-driving with a cost of $10,000. Whilst most people, including us, can't justify that price tag, it's certainly very interesting to see the development that Tesla have been doing on the autonomous driving front. Over in the US, they have about 60,000 people running this beta, and you can see countless videos online of people navigating, or the car, sorry, navigating for three hours on end without any human intervention. Tesla is really the first company in history to accomplish something like this. And what's even more impressive is it can happen on any road. The brains of this system is not limited to a scan of a particular road. It adapts and it's able to work across the globe. And this is where Autopilot comes in. Autopilot is based off the same artificial intelligence that powers that full self-driving that Tesla is now so famous for. And there's literally thousands of Silicon Valley software engineers working on it every day. And the brains behind this sort of system do not compare to any other cruise control on the market. For starters, Autopilot can recognize a lot more than just other cars. It can tell the difference between a small dog and a large dog. It can recognize bicycles, pedestrians, stop signs, traffic lights, all sorts of things. It can predict oncoming hazards unlike any other car and even maneuver around them faster than a human might be able to do in an emergency situation. Autopilot will automatically read speed signs using those front cameras and then automatically adjust the speed of its car entirely on its own. Another big difference is that Autopilot works on normal roads, not just highways. It even uses the cabin camera above that rear view mirror to detect driver awareness. So if you're looking away from the road when autopilot is enabled, it's going to trigger you a lot more to keep your hands on the wheel, etc, etc. Another great thing is that autopilot works in traffic jams. This is a really awesome feature where it takes just the stress out of sitting in a traffic jam. Autopilot's going to do the work for you. And as I mentioned earlier, you can use Autopilot on any road around the world. It's not just roads that have been mapped out and have been scanned. The software is looking for certain road criteria like line work to make sure it can be enabled. There is so much that continues to be improved in this car via software updates that it honestly gets me feeling very confident that Tesla's lead in autonomous driving is only getting bigger. And not to mention the safety features that are built into these systems, they're so advanced and it gives me hope that driving in the future is going to be safer with systems like this and companies like Tesla. So I hope you found this video useful. I've certainly been wanting to know what are the differences between Autopilot and other advanced systems on the market. From all the research I've done, I feel very confident in saying that Tesla's Autopilot, which comes standard on all Teslas, is by far the best system out there at the moment. Catch you guys in the next one and stay tuned, more videos coming soon.